Have you ever heard of a man who could speak to plants? A man who was born into slavery, yet became one of the greatest scientists America ever produced? This is the untold story of George Washington Carver, the man who turned simple peanuts into power and poverty into possibility. Born sometime around 1864 on a small farm in Missouri, George entered this world in chains. His mother was kidnapped by raiders when he was just a baby, and she was never seen again. He grew up weak, frail, and alone, but with one extraordinary gift, an unbreakable curiosity about nature. While other children played, George studied flowers, leaves, and soil. He believed that everything in nature spoke, if only you listened closely enough. People laughed at him, a poor black boy talking to plants. But those whispers of nature would one day change the world. After slavery ended, Carver walked miles just to find schools that would accept him. He faced rejection after rejection because of his skin color, but he never stopped learning. His faith was unshakable, his purpose unstoppable. Eventually, he became the first black student and later the first black professor at Iowa State Agricultural College. But his true calling came when Booker T. Washington invited him to teach at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. There, Carver found his mission to help poor farmers trapped in endless poverty. The soil had died from years of planting cotton. So Carver taught them how to plant peanuts, sweet potatoes and soybeans to restore the earth and their lives. From those humble crops, he created over 300 products from peanuts, from soap to ink to fuel, and more than 100 uses for sweet potatoes. Yet when asked why he never patented his discoveries, Carver simply said, God gave them to me, how can I sell them to someone else? He refused wealth and fame. All he wanted was to serve, to heal the land and uplift his people. When he died in 1943, the world lost a scientist, but gained a legacy. His work proved that even the smallest seed in the right hands can change the course of history. George Washington Carver once said, when you do the common things in life in an uncommon way, you will command the attention of the world. And he did. This story was narrated by Amor Adam. And if you love stories that awaken the soul, reveal truth, and honor the forgotten heroes of history, then welcome to untold chapters where the past still speaks and every story has a heartbeat. For those interested in supporting my ongoing black history projects, please email me for donation details.